Hey, good morning. Hello again. Dan with Ledger Support here. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to speed up a stuck Bitcoin transaction using your Ledger device and Electrum. Let's do it. But you might be wondering, why do Bitcoin transactions get stuck in the first place? The answer is fees. If the fee you attach to your transaction is too low and a lot of other people want to transact at the same time you did, but with higher fees, then your transaction might get stuck. Don't worry, your funds don't get lost, but the transaction might stay in the mempool for quite a long time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up that process. So you can see my stuck transaction here. It's been sent a few minutes ago, but there is no confirmation and the icon is grayed out. You can say it's sent, but because the fees I chose were so low, the transaction got stuck in the mempool. So now I need to bump the fees. I'm going to use Electrum Bitcoin. So let me show you how to install Electrum onto your computer. Go to Google, type Electrum Bitcoin. Select Electrum.org. Be careful, make sure it's Electrum.org. On the website, go into Download and select your OS, in my case, that would be Windows. And I want this guy here, the Windows installer. Okay, so next, select the file, click install. Okay, so it looks like the file has finished installing. Close this and select Electrum here. Before I continue in Electrum, I want to go back to Ledger Live just for a second. First, go to the manager to check two things. I want to make sure the firmware on my device is up to date, and I want to make sure the app on my device is also up to date. You see, Ledger Live tells me the firmware is up to date, so it's all good. See, I click Apps Installed. Here's the latest version. If it wasn't the latest version, Ledger Live will give me a prompt to update the app. Okay, now very important. I wanna exit the manager. So click onto account, select your account and look at what's written here. In my case, native SegWit. So I'm back in Electrum. Here I can select the name of my account. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to go for hello underscore ledger underscore one, but you can name it whatever you want. Click next. Here, make sure to select a standard wallet and click next. Here you want to say use a hardware device. Before you click next here, you want to make sure that the Bitcoin app is open on the device. So you should say Bitcoin is ready, just like this. If it's the case, click next. Electrum is looking for a device. It found my device, you see Ledger Nano X, cool. So I can click next. So here, this part is pretty important. I know from Ledger Live that my account is native SegWit, but if you have a different account type, then you might want to select legacy or SegWit. In my case, it's native SegWit, so I'm going to go for that. And then I'm going to click next. Now it's looking for this account in my device. Let's wait. Okay, encrypt wallet. I can leave that ticked. Click next, and in the next frame, I'll be able to see my account. Now you can see the transaction here. This is the stock transaction. Right click on the transaction, select increase fee, and select a new fee rate. Now you might be wondering, okay, but what fee should I select now to make my transaction faster? And the answer is it depends on how much activity there is on the network and how congested is the mempool. But you can use this website, mempool.space. That's mempool.space. And look for the high priority transaction. You see here, it says 10 sats per byte. That's the one I'm going to use for bumping my transaction. 10 sats per byte and click 
Okay. Now I'm going to select sign. Hey, I want to make sure the Bitcoin app is still open on my device. It should say Bitcoin is ready. So click sign. You're going to get a prompt on your device. Okay, I'm getting the prompt on my device. So this is the same transaction that I did via Ledger Live. But now I'm rebroadcasting the transaction with a higher fee price. So miners will be more inclined to include it into a block. Pass to address. You need to accept it. Fees, that's the new fee that I'm ready to pay. Accept and send. And there is one more step after you confirm the transaction on your device. Select broadcast. Now it says payment sent. You can click OK and close. And that's it, guys. So now my transaction has been rebroadcast with a higher fee. Just have to wait for a miner to detect it and include it into their blocks. Of course, it depends on how much fee I wanted to pay. I pay 10 cents per byte, but sometimes you might need to pay more or pay less. It really depends on the level of congestion on the Bitcoin network. Now, if the transaction is still stuck, you might want to bump the fees a second time. In this case, you would just do the same thing again. Select the transaction, right click, increase fee, and select a higher SAT fee. And that's pretty much it. You'll know your transaction has been included in a block when the status changed from not confirmed to confirmed. But be careful, you don't want to spam the network with rebroadcasting the same transaction over and over and over again. My advice is choose a higher fee, broadcast the transaction once, and wait for 20 minutes, and then see if the transaction has been confirmed or not. I hope the video was useful and that you learned something. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye.